Hey guys, welcome back to Incredible Science. Today we have a fun video and it involves liquid nitrogen and tons of different foods that I'm gonna try and eat. Hey guys, welcome back to Incredible Science. Today we have a fun video, a little bit different because I'm gonna be eating tons of random stuff that I'm gonna dunk into liquid nitrogen. But first things first, the giveaway. Yes, I'm giving away another Stay Incredible Pop Socket and another Stay Incredible Spinner, Fidget Spinner, to the person that can find the secret word in the video and comment below what time I say it. It's just for the first person that's quickest enough to find it in the video and comment below when I say it. Today's secret word is mountain. So when I say mountain, find the time, exact time in the video when I say it and comment below the exact time and you'll win. You have to be the first one to comment. No edited comments because you could go back and change that. So no edited comments and it has to be the original comment that you post and you'll win this. So sorry for those that haven't won yet. Don't give up. I'll be doing a lot of these tomorrow and the day after and the day after that, hopefully. So don't give up. Now let's move on to the video. I have liquid nitrogen here and I have some food I wanna get rid of. I think it's the perfect combination. Let's put the foods into the liquid nitrogen. I've been so curious to see what happens to these foods. Let me show you what I have. So, first things first, we have, we have marshmallows. We're gonna dunk that in liquid nitrogen. Whipped cream, cotton candy. I'm really curious to see what happens to cotton candy and liquid nitrogen. Some Pringles. Some ices, melted ices, melted freeze water ices. That would be cool to see how instantly they get frozen in the liquid nitrogen. And if I could eat it right away, that would be cool to see. Let me get a blue one here also, since I'm going all out in my junk food excuse of a video. All right. And what else do we have here? We have peeps, you know, the marshmallowy peeps, even though we have marshmallows. We have Twizzlers. That should be cool to see if they could crack in half. And now, the only thing left that we need is the liquid nitrogen. I have. So we're gonna pour it in the stainless steel cup because that keeps it cold and it won't evaporate. I'm gonna dunk the foods into there, take it out, and show you what it looks like when I eat it. All right, so let us get the liquid nitrogen tank over here. Pour it out into there, and we'll get cooking. Whoa. Whoa. I did not realize how much was coming out. Oh my gosh. Wow. That's crazy. Oh my gosh, I filled up that cup. But what's cool about it, since it's stainless steel, it stops going crazy because it contains the coolness. It contains the cold. So if this was in any other thing other than steel, it would be evaporating constantly and just clouding up. Now only when I blow it. So it'll allow me to pour some back into the container. I don't need this much. Actually, you know what, I'll use it. It'll be easier to dunk in. Then I can just pour back the rest after. All right, hope I didn't kill my computer here. Sorry, dude. Yeah. Okay, it, it just, it evaporates so fast that even if it hit your skin, it wouldn't hurt. So, for a split second. Dunking it in is another story. All right, let's start with the Pringles. Always curious to see what it would look like, what it would taste like. If you take a Pringle, regular Pringle, it's just a regular Pringle. I'm actually hungry. So this works out. Uh-oh, my microphone on? Yeah. All right, let's take... Now let's take one, let's take a whole one and dunk it in. Let me bring you, let me bring it up close. Let me bring it up to you guys here. So you get a close up of it. All right, ready? This doesn't hurt my mouth. Ah. It's like a cold Pringle. That's all it is. It somehow tastes better. It's like refreshing too. Do not drink this. I want to do the whole Pringle. I don't know if there are any whole ones in here. Maybe like underneath. All right. 
This is gonna be good enough. We'll leave it in for 10 seconds. Watch the smoke coming out of my mouth when I do it. You have to be careful if you ever do this, you don't want it dripping. You don't want it dripping smoke because that could really hurt you. You want it to be dry and then you can do it. You see the smoke coming out of my mouth? You did? That means you gotta do it again. All right, last Pringle. Oh, I think I got a pretty good one. Almost a whole one. Dunk it in. See, that smoking is because the heat of the Pringle. Not that it's hot, but it's, it's just not minus 321 degrees like the liquid nitrogen. Keep it in there. Five more seconds. Four, three, okay. It's dripping out. I don't know if you could see how cool it looks on camera, but it's just like smoking. Really cool. All right, next I, was I wanted to try are the Twizzlers. Will they crack in half in liquid nitrogen? I mean, we all know Twizzlers are soft, right? But let's put it in liquid nitrogen, will they get hardened and crack? Well, only one way to find out. If you ever open this package, we can find out. All right, let's do this. Regular Twizzler, right? Bendable. Liquid nitrogen Twizzler. Oh, you hear that bubbling? Oh man. Getting hard. I feel it getting harder in there. Wait, like, oh, it's cracking off. Excuse me. Well, you heard that. Oh, it's getting soft in my mouth, though. Crunchy Twizzler. Not so good. But it's cool how it melts in your mouth, though, and gets soft again. Very cool. All right. I just realized that was a bad time to put that in my mouth because I have to talk. Okay, we're going to move on to cotton candy. I'm really curious about this, too. Is this going to turn into, like, a hard... Like a rock? Nice and, <laughs> nice and fluffy now. Let's dunk it, the whole thing, if it could fit. We'll squeeze it. That's the good part about cotton candy, it's moldable. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh, I have no idea what's gonna happen. What do you guys think is gonna happen? Comment below, it's getting heavy. It's like soaking up all the liquid nitrogen. Oh my gosh, look at that. Can you see that? I'm like dripping it. That's just weird. I don't know what to make of this. It's like, it's like a cotton cloth that just absorbed water. It's like dripping it out. What happens to cotton candy in liquid nitrogen? Is it freezing? Is it like turning it into ice? I don't know. I don't really want to touch it because it's just dripping liquid nitrogen. It literally soaked up the liquid nitrogen. It's like dripping it out, it's like a sponge. This thing is like a sponge now. It's not even... Makes for like a cool toy, but a cool liquid nitrogen toy, but not edible, because there's way too much liquid nitrogen in there. That's dangerous. All right, that goes back in there. So weird. So surprising, actually. All right, let's try this. This should be cool. There's still cotton candy in there, some fell off. This is a freeze pop. All liquidy, all water. Let's see what happens, how long it takes to freeze, and see if it's edible after. If we can just have ices, instantly make ices. Listen to that. I don't know how long it's gonna take, but let's see. I, I think it's par partially frozen.
Look at that, guys. Yeah, it's, oh, it was ice a long time ago. Look at that. The top part. So cool, it's rock hard. The top part that was in the liquid nitrogen is now ice, and the bottom is still liquid. That's cool. All right, let's eat it. Let's see if it's actually, it's like ice is. I can't even get it out because it's too, it's just too hard, it's stuck in there. Let's see if it's actually, I, I'm really curious. I always wanted to try this. I think it is. Looks it. Yes, it is. Instant ices. So cool, it's like two, it's like, you know those really frozen ones that you can't get out? Wow, which tells me it was frozen a long time before I took it out. That was awesome, that's the best hack ever. How to make ices in less than five seconds. I'm gonna finish this. That's so cool. Let's see what happened to the cotton candy in the meantime. Anything? Still smoking. It's just holding on. It's that liquid nitrogen. All right, it's getting a little nasty. No, do not recommend touching it. Dangerous. And I have sugar all over my hands. All right, this is a cool one. I've seen this done before, i tried it once before. Let me show you what happens when you take whipped cream and put it into liquid nitrogen. And now I'm gonna get it out. I'll scoop it out somehow. This whipped cream is now a solid chunk. That's so cool. And watch what happens when I eat it. Try again. All right, we have some of these peeps here. These are little marshmallow thingies. Let's see what happens if we dunk one of these into liquid nitrogen. I think it's the same as the marshmallows since they're made up of mostly air. So, oh, okay. They're connected so it'll be easier to just. So they're connected, so I think it'll be easy to just pull it, dunk it in and pull it out. Yeah, that's cool. I feel like a rock. Little peeps, sorry peeps. Sorry peeps, they, they wanted to chill out, you know? All right, let's see what's gonna happen to this. Probably similar to the cotton candy, it's mostly sugar. Here's a soft one, here's a regular one. And here's one in liquid nitrogen. See if I can pull it apart. When I pull it apart, it's just, oh, it's just the outside. Oh, and it crumbles, yeah, it's not nice and squishy anymore. Probably the same thing with the marshmallows. Let's see. It's okay, the peeps, they're, they're fine, they're good, they'll, they'll just, they're gonna go chill out somewhere, like on a farm or a mountain or somewhere. All right, now I'm gonna take some marshmallows and place it in to the liquid nitrogen using this little cup here. And there are holes on the bottom, so when I pull it out, the liquid nitrogen will come out and my little marshmallows will be nice and intact over here. Listen to the, listen to the burn. Oh man, like an evil scientist here. Those are cooking. I think when the fizz stops, that means it's it's ice because it's the same temperature as liquid nitrogen.
All right, dripping out, and now we could try some. I think, I hope. Come on. All right, ready? Frozen marshmallow. Three, two, one. It's crunchy. That's so weird. Marshmallows again. It tastes like marshmallows, but it's crunchy. And the weirdest. All right guys, that is the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you did enjoy it. Subscribe to my vlog channel at Incredible Science Vlogs. I'll be back tomorrow with another video and another giveaway. Don't forget, stay incredible. Peace.